Okay, so today I'm going to be actually demoing the real iPhone 3G unlock. Here we have the iPhone 3G. I'll spin it around here to make sure, show you that it is the 3G, the black back. So I have the newest version of Yellow Snow, which is point zero six, I believe. So right now I have no SIM installed. I'm going to be popping the standard AT&T 3G card in. Switches over to no service. Gain service, no problem. And there you go. So now, I'm going to take it out. Right now I'm using that little tool just off camera. Here you can see my hand. I'm taking it out. Okay, popped it out. Oops. <laughs> there you go. Dropped it. And now here we have a T-Mobile standard T-Mobile SIM card. I didn't draw that X on it. They actually gave that to me for free. So No SIM installed. No problem. Just put it in. No service. And there we go, T-Mobile. So in settings you can see that it says Carrier T-Mobile. That tab actually doesn't appear to do anything. It just goes to searching. So then we're going to go to General, About, and there you go. You can see everything's working just fine. And it says carrier 2.9. Okay, so from here, we're going to make a test call. So there you go, you can see that it is actually working. I just called 611, no problems. Big improvement over last time, over 0.6 or 0.5, whatever the one that was before it, that didn't work for me whatsoever. So you're probably wondering what my settings are. So within Boss Prefs, the only thing I have turned off is 3G, because obviously you can't have 3G. And I'm using the yellow snow toggle and that's about it really pop it out pop the new one back in works just fine no problems whatsoever oops so I'm gonna be testing a few sims out hopefully I can get my hands on a pay-as-you-go sim to test it out maybe if I if anybody has a suggestion for a pay-as-you-go data service too I'd really be interested. But yeah, so far uh, I haven't had any problems with Yellow Snow running on AT&T. Thanks for watching.